This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson eight, order whole numbers and decimals. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Let's take a look at this homework helper section and just review how to order uh, decimal numbers. So here I have a set of numbers, nine and 275 thousandths, eight and 950 thousandths, and nine and 375 thousandths. And I'm going to order them from least to greatest. So the first thing to do is to put them in a column and make sure the decimals are straight. So then that tells me how what the numbers are in each uh, in each place. So I have a 9, an 8, and a 9 that are all in the ones column. Now I'm going least to greatest and I know that 8 is smaller than 9. So this number will be first. When I do it. Okay, now I have two numbers left. The nines can cancel each other out. I'm looking for the smallest number in the tenths place. I have a two and I have a three. This is definitely the smallest number. So this number will come next. And then nine and 375 thousandths will be last. So you can see right here, that's the order, those three. All right. Now you're going to order each set of numbers from least to greatest. So you're gonna look at the numbers. Okay, right here, this is a little bit tricky because I'm looking in front of the decimal point. I have 17, that part's not tricky. I have three and I have 45. So I can tell just by looking at those whole numbers which one's the smallest. It's definitely three. But sometimes people don't look at the decimals. Fifth graders get a little bit mixed up and they say, oh, this starts with a one, so it's the smallest number. You don't wanna do that. You want to look at what's in front of the decimal. So here we have 17, three, and 45. So we know this one's going to be first. So you'll write it first, and after you've written it, you put, um, oh, you can put a comma, sorry, put a comma. <laughs> and then do the next number, and then do the next number. Okay, looking at the next one. Uh, I'm gonna look at my number in front of the decimal again. I have 890, 890, and 809. Ah, somebody tried to trick you by just reversing those two numbers. You choose which number is the smallest and write it first. That will be this one. Now I'm going on to these two numbers. So I'm going to need to look at the tenths column. I have a four and a nine in the tenths column, so I'll need to choose the one that's the smallest. All right, when you get down here, now you're going to order from greatest to least. So if I look in the ones place, I can see I have a two, a two, a two, and a two. I'm going to need to look in the ones place. I have a six, a five, a zero, not the ones place, sorry, the tenths place. I have a six, a five, a zero, and a four. So I'm going to choose the number that is the greatest, and that will come first, and then the next number, and the next number, and so on. Okay, right here, this looks like somebody's trying to trick somebody else with all these ones and zeros. So you're going greatest to least. You're going to want to look in the ones place. Okay, you have a one, a zero, a one, and a one in the ones place. Well, we know that this one is going to be the least. So you can take that one and write it clear over here since it started with a one, and it's gone. Don't even worry about that one anymore. Now you're looking for the greatest number, so you need to go, you need to look at the uh, tens column now. I have a one in this tens column, a zero and a zero. So I need to choose the one that is the largest and put it first, and then I'll put a comma, cross it out, find the next one, and so on. All right, let's take a look at the back here. This time, here we have four students, and their height uh, is written on a table. You're going to arrange the students in order from shortest to tallest. So you need to look at the number and find which number is the smallest because you're doing shortest. So let's find the smallest. Well, I can see that all of these are in the 50s, 56, 56, 56, 57. Tom is definitely not the shortest. So it's one of these three that is the shortest. 56, I'm gonna have to go to my tenths column to see. Zero, three, and one. Okay, zero is smallest, so Kim is the shortest. I'm not going to write down her height, I'm gonna write down her name. 
Kim's the shortest, and then I'll write the other names in order from shortest to tallest. Let's look at the next one. Lauren spent $3.26 for lunch on Tuesday. She spent $1.98 on Wednesday and $2.74 on Thursday. Order the prices from greatest to least. So go ahead and look at that ones digit and figure out which number is the greatest and write it down and so on till you have all three numbers written down. Number seven, the four fastest times in a race were 27 and 8 hundredths of a second, 27 and 88 hundredths seconds, 27 and 8 tenths seconds, and 26 and 78 hundredths seconds. Order these times from least to greatest. Find the smallest one and write it first, and then the next one, and so on. Here's a text, test practice pay, part. Four boxes to be mailed are weighed at the post office. Box A weighs eight and 25 hundredths pounds. Box B weighs eight and two tenths pounds. Box C weighs eight and 225 thousandths pounds. And box D weighs eight and five hundredths pounds. Which box is heaviest? Okay, what I'm noticing here is that all of these weights like this one goes to hundredths, this one goes to tenths, and this one goes to thousandths. So it would be really smart to write them in a column. There's eight and 25 hundredths. Here's eight and two tenths, and I'll annex a zero, which means to add a zero at the end. Then write down the other numbers. Here's eight and 225 thousandths, and eight and five hundredths you're going to find which one's the heaviest. Now that they're written in a column, it'll be easier to see which one is the heaviest. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.